Hi there, today we're going to talk you through some of the commonly asked questions about the ProBite Tool Torque Wrench Set. The first time you take the tool from the box, you need to carry out a short procedure to prepare the tool for use. To do this, you just follow the following three steps. Firstly, you set the torque of the tool to two newton meters and push the head gently from one side to the other and you will feel a small click as you push each side. When you've done that, you can now set the torque to six newton meters by rotating the handle like so. Once you're set to six newton meters, you carry out the final step of the process, which is resetting the torque to two. The tool is now ready for use. However, we recommend that you always test the tool at two newton meters before carrying out any further work. The next question that we're asked is, what torque should I apply to the relevant component? Typically, the torque required for a component is printed on the item itself, where it will read something such as four, five, or six newton meters. If it's not printed on the component, you could also have a look at the website of the manufacturer or on the product instructions. One question we're commonly asked is, how do I set the torque on the wrench? To do this, you simply pull down the collar on the handle and line up the readings on the wrench's shaft and the wrench's collar. The number on the shaft is the whole Newton meter reading whereas the number on the collar is the decimal place. When they're lined up, you should be ready to go at the torque that you've set. How does a click torque wrench work? A click torque wrench works by a spring mechanism inside the body of the wrench. When the level of torque has been achieved, there'll be a click which can be felt and or heard. The more tension that's applied to the spring, the stronger the click. It's important to note that at lower torque settings under five newton meters, the click can be quite subtle. This is normal for all spring wrenches. We therefore recommend operating the wrench in a quiet environment. For higher torque settings, such as over five newton meters, the click will be a lot louder and more obvious. We're frequently asked, how should I turn the torque wrench? When you're turning the wrench, it's important to turn it softly and gently so that you can feel the click when it's at lower newton meter readings, which can be quite subtle. You need to ensure that you don't swing the wrench hard. We're sometimes asked why I can't feel the click of the wrench. If this is the case, it's important that you follow the first time out of the box routine, which we answered in the previous question. It's also very important to make sure that you're using the wrench softly and gently. When you're applying torque at a low newton meter reading, the click can be quite subtle. And so we always advise that you use it in a very quiet environment and that you hold the wrench gently so that you can feel the click. We're sometimes asked, do I need to calibrate the wrench? The wrench has been shipped fully calibrated and precision tested. As such, there's no need to calibrate it yourself. Some people ask, how should I store my torque wrench? After use, you should always set the wrench back to two newton meters to totally fully deload the spring. We also advise that you always keep it in the box provided to prevent any accidental damage. So, there we go. That's how you use a ProBytal torque wrench set. Happy wrenching.